The annual March for Life is taking place for the first time since the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. The 50th March for Life, the first post-Roe March for Life. <laughs> A small group of counter protesters also gathered outside the Supreme Court. Protesters on both sides say the fight over rights is not over. It's just simply switch from the courts to Congress and state legislatures. The next phase now begins, and that's what this year's march is all about. The next steps in a post row era. Marchers are adding a stop this year, walking by the U.S. Capitol where their abortion rights debate is ongoing. The only way to restore the protections uh, of Roe is for Congress to pass a national law codifying the right to choose. But with Congress divided, the most notable fights are taking place in the states. 22 states have already enacted full or partial abortion bans, although some of those have been struck down in the courts. On the other hand, 21 states have enshrined abortion rights into law. Willie James Inman, CBS News, Washington.